There are 10 different heroes to choose from in Clash Mini and here is the best deck for each of them. For the Archer Queen deck, we have the Archer Queen, the Dark Goblin, Magic Archer, Ice Wizard, Fisherman and the Prince. Archer Queen is an awesome damage dealer who dishes out a lot of damage, has probably one of the best super in the game, combined with the potential to turn her allies invisible and doubling their DPS which is just awesome value. Next up, we have the Dark Goblin, a strong carry who once stack leaves nothing on the board. He's especially really good against the Grand Warden because of his third upgrade allowing him to deal 8 damage against shielded targets. He also works really well against the Wave Master. You also have the Magic Archer who is just stupid when 3 start. He just eats everything on the board just like his breakfast. Next up is the Ice Wizard who provides insane utility for only 2 elixir which is crazy. Basically he makes you immune from clash abilities. Next up is the Prince who is a great mini and his clash ability allows him to throw tanks like the giant skeleton or the mega knight at the bag exposing their main carry and he also serves as a tank. And finally, finishing off this deck, we have the Fisherman. He allows you to pull enemy units towards your side, especially their main win condition like the Magic Archer. And when your DPS triangle connects towards them, they are literally screwed. For the Barbarian King deck, we have the Pekka, Dart Goblin, Archer, Ice Wizard and the Magic Archer. The Barbarian King is a great tank and with the minis which we have in this deck, he creates some awesome synergies. The Pekka smashes the bandit for 24 damage and when paired up with the Barbarian King, it is 48 damage which is straight up stupidity. Then we also have the Dart Goblin, again great against shielded targets but especially really good with the Barbarian King. He can get his damage to whole another level and at this point, your enemy just needs to quit the game. You also have the Archer, she allows you to slowly chip down enemies target at the back and her third ability creates an awesome synergy with the Barbarian King. Next up is the Ice Wizard who is just Ice Wizard. We already know how much value he can provide for only 2 drops of elixir. Finally we have the Magic Archer and when he is paired up with the Barbarian King we can see even stupider results. He just eats the entire board and is a great counter to the Witch. For the Countess deck we have the Mega Knight, the Electro Wizard, the Lumberjack, the Miner and the Ice Wizard. Mega Knight is a great tank and essential for a Countess deck which we will talk in a second. Then we also have the Electro Wizard and he has some great stun potential of stunning the entire board. The Lumberjack provides some insane value at the start of the round with a clash ability because that speed boost allows your core minis to charge up their super way faster. Then we have the Ice Wizard which at this point I don't even want to talk about him. He just gives crazy value. And finally we have the Miner who allows to lure the bandit at the back and then he dissipates the bandit. And with this setup by the time bandit deals with the Miner, the Mega Knight and the Evis gets to show off their super and this my friends allows the Countess to get backstab damage and this makes her go crazy once she is fully stacked up. Our next hero on the list is the Grand Warden where we have the Dart Goblin, the Valkyrie, the Magic Archer, the Guard and the Prince. The Dart Goblin cries out to be the best pick with the Grand Warden and he also allows you to deal with shielded targets. Similarly, we have the Valkyrie who once again is really good against shielded targets and she also provides the utility to deal with nature mode. We also have the Magic Archer who is really strong and provides some great utility. Next up is the Prince and with his great kit helps you to be good in a lot of circumstances. And finally, we have the Skeleton Guard who is a great tank for his cost but he also provides some great utility when paired up with the Grand Warden because of the Grand Warden's kit. For the Monk deck, we have the Monk, Pekka, Prince, Fisherman, Ice Wizard and the Dart Goblin. This deck is made by Flacco, a great friend of mine and you should honestly check him out. The Monk and the Pekka really wrecks everything on the board. Prince and the Fisherman allows you to specifically choose a certain target and the Dart Goblin is another awesome win condition and then you have the Ice Wizard who is just crazy good. For our Nature Bond deck, we have the Pekka, Dart Goblin, Archer, e -Wiz, and the Witch. The Pekka deals a lot of damage with the Nature Bond. The Dart Goblin and the Archer pairs up really well with the DO form of the Nature Bond. So you can use the DO form in the first 3 rounds and you can almost assure the win. Then you can start upgrading the e -Wiz and the Witch. And trust me, if you can let this thing cook for 5 seconds with the human form, it is game over. Just be creative and choose the form which suits you the best because you have synergy for both the forms. For the Royal Champion deck, we have the Bowler, Spear Goblin and the Prince. These three clash abilities creates a lot of pressure on your opponent and also the Royal Champion can easily recharge the super. Then we have the Pekka who is just a great mini overall who can do well against the bandit and finally the Ice Wizard is just the Ice Wizard. For the Shield Maiden deck we have the Battle Healer, Pekka, Magic Archer, the Wizard and the Ice Wizard. The Battle Healer creates an awesome synergy with the Shield Maiden. Just don't play her against the Wave Master Bandit combination because she will just hard counter you. Instead use the Pekka who is good against countering the bandit and pairs up really well with the Shield Maiden by utilizing her kit. Next up we have the Magic Archer who is another awesome win condition and can help you win a lot of matchup. And you can honestly switch with the Pekka or the Magic Archer depending on your matchup. Next up is the Wizard who is a great damage dealer for a cost of 2 elixir but the best thing about him is the anti heal which provides a lot of value over time and finally you have the Ice Wizard. For the Skeleton King deck we have the SK Clash simply. We have the Prince, Spear Goblin, Bowler, Royal Ghost and the Fisherman. This deck is really good against the Bandit because it has no energy minis except the Skeleton King. 
preventing the bandit to recharge her super and the clash abilities are really good in general because they can put a lot of pressure on your enemy units and this also pairs up really well with the skeleton king because the skeleton king can get a lot of souls out of them and the skeleton king is also really good against isolated targets because he just straight up eats the isolated targets Our final deck is the Wave Master Bandit deck. We have the Bandit, the Dark Goblin, the Swordsman, the Knight, and the Ice Wizard. The Bandit we all know is straight up stupid rating. The Dark Goblin is an awesome win condition, and same is valid for the Swordsman. So switch between the three of them depending on the situation you find yourself in. And then we have the Knight who is going to be shield for your Bandit with the help of the Taunt. 